Oh my god. What the hell are we doing? I don't know what's happening. Um. Let's go out the door. Um. I. Uh, huh? Um. Oh! The, the giant glowing indicator of where I should go, obviously. I'm sorry. Konnichiwa. Let me just up the volume. Long shark. <laughs> well, that is not, well, an incorrect assessment. Could I ask that you refrain from calling me a lone shark? Yeah, you get him. Go, girl. You go, girl. Good job. Don't be mean. <laughs> Quite well, thank you. In fact, we plan on opening today, so we stop by in order to show our gratitude for your help. I was very good to do this fight. It's highly private every day. I really need your help. We appreciate your kindness. Thank you. Um, we appreciate your kindness. Thank you very much. No problem at all. Sorry, merchandise, right? You might ask, why am I doing this? And I tell you, I don't know. I'm just trying to practice whatever not whatever crappy voices I have. This is our first time stocking up. Our funds are limited, so do not go completely overboard. I recommend purchasing no more than ten items. Kai, Kyo, Kyo, Kyo. Um. Okay. What you got for me? What's the kill? Okay. I totally understand everything that is happening here. What can I do here? Okay. Main markets. Foodstuffs, books, other assorted knickknacks. The really flashy and rare stuff is a bit out of our league. Okay. I totally understand everything that's going on. And by that I mean I don't know. Merchant levels. Redecorate. Oh, I'm ready to redecorate. Uh, you know what? I think I'm done. I don't know where- um, huh? Um, purchase price... Uh... 
I don't. Am I. Do I mean Jim Jim Bit? Am I able to. Uh, whatever. I don't know what's going on. Hmm. Yep, I have no idea what I'm doing. I have no idea. Well, we'll just consider that good. We stocked up on whatever the hell we were buying. So, I don't know if I just made good decisions or not, but... We'll have to deal with it, because I just spent all my money anyway. Roger, Rob, y'all. Yeah, this perfect. Just gonna, we shall return. We shall return when our stocks run low again. I need to switch my voices up. I got better. Hey, I shot back Shot up here. Oh, a piece of bread. Yatta, yatta. Yay, walnut bread. Thanks a bunch. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Capitalism, ho! Well, Adam Smith would be proud of us at any rates. I don't get that joke. Am I supposed to get that joke? I don't get that joke. Well, am I supposed to get it? Oh well. Let's go to back to the store to put our stuff on the shelves. Okay, what now? Very well. It is time to give you a crash course on the basics of running an item shop. Okay, what do I do first? First, we need to put some items on display. If we do not have our goods out for people to see, we can hardly expect the customers to buy them after all. Of course. You're a, you're a clever fairy, dear. So I just need to get to the nearest counters! <laughs> just so. Once you know where you wish to place something, Choose what you wish to place in that spot by pressing the primary button. I don't, I don't, I don't know what? Primary button? You will understand when you try it, trust me. I don't get it. Now remember what you place will affect how many people perceive the store. So think carefully before you place something. Well, I have a lot of worn down items, so I guess that means people will hate my store, so that's cool. Now then, to start off, why not line up what we purchased on one of the counters? Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's put stuff on the counter. Doodly doodly doo bop bop. Bop doop da. Let's put this here. <laughs> Take this. Reset, may I speak with you a moment? Sure, what is it? <coughs> Those counters by the window, items you place there, uh huh. Well, they can deal with it. If I want to put a worn sword by my window, they can deal with it. As such, putting eye-catching items the sort of thing that makes you think, I want to buy this more than anything, all those counters, is a core principle of running a shop like this. In a very real way, these those counters are the face of the shop. <laughs> <coughs> oh, God. I'm sick. And what is placed there greatly affects interest in our business. So choose what to place there very, very carefully. Okay. Well, I never thought about it like that. Okay, I'll be careful. Um, I don't have any good items though. 
So fuck it. Oh my god. I am the best. I am the best person ever. I'm the best merchant in the world already. And that's all I have. Alright, that should do for displaying our wares. Are you sure it doesn't look dumb? I mean... Uh... Do not worry, everything looks good enough for a first attempt. Oh, that's what you say now. Yeah. But I know how- I know what will happen. I know. Now I need to teach you how to actually sell things. I don't know, someone just grabs it and you're like, give him fucking money. You're like, okay. And then they buy it. Righto! Let's go to the counter. Daddy, do ba ba. Is anybody gonna buy something? Oh, look. What the fuck? Oh, here we go. What? You know, generally you have to have somebody come into the store before you can buy. They can buy something. Well, then the items are in place. Now you need to learn how to actually sell things to people without embarrassing you. What a dick. You're a jerk. Okay, ya? Yeah? So, to start with, I will lecture on the actual process of selling an item we have displayed. Yes, Professor! That's... okay. If the students do not listen, they do not get any credit. Uh, uh, right. Now then, when a customer enters, be sure to greet them with a nice big Welcome. Uh, uh, Welcome. Greeting the customer helps them to feel comfortable and then relax while in the store. Their comfort is fundamental to our business. Remember that as we continue. <coughs> now, a typical customer will find an item they want on our displays and then they will come over to the counter to pay for it. Uh, uh, no, God. Let me demonstrate. Could I get this, please? Er, uh, um, uh, 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 I don't... What they want will be in the target window. You will also be able to see the name and base price. Pay close attention to that base price. Also, if you press button 3, you can view it. Um... I don't know what button 3 is on this 360 gamepad, but... I guess we'll have to learn. On the item in question, consult the custom.exe pro- What? That's breaking the fourth wall. If you wish to check, alter your button configure- What? Wait, wait, but- What? Yeah. Focus, reset. Your life is hard enough to control as it is. Uh... Okay? Now then, next you must decide what price you wish to offer. In general, you want to try and name a price higher than the base. Try naming a price, if you will. Uh, this... Oh, shit. Uh, sorry? Fourteen hundred. Okay! As might be obvious, if a customer is satisfied with your offer, it is a sale and you get a little bit of experience along with the money. If your price is too high, however, a customer can simply walk out. Learning to determine the proper price. There lies the challenge. Oh ho 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 ho. Now, if a customer disagrees with the price, but not so much that they want to storm out, then you can negotiate. Remember what I said about comfort earlier? That's the key here. Offer a prize, but do not make it so outrageous that the customer feels you are not acting in good faith. So if they disagree but stay, offer a new prize. Ideally, you will lower your offer a little, and they will take it and give you a sale. 
Some customers may just be trying to sniff out a better price when they are really willing to pay your initial price, however. Whether or not you risk testing that possibility is up to you. How long can you keep haggling? Well, that depends on how regular customer the person in question is. As we are starting out, you will not be able to haggle for very long. But after customers begin to trust us a little, you can haggle for a longer period of time. Well, time to put theory into practice. Next time!